My husband farted at the altar at our wedding. Haha! <laughs> <laughs> I can be myself now. I was so shocked that I even dropped the ring. And Sean immediately scolded me. You bungler! You're embarrassing us in front of the guests. I wanted to repost, but... <gasps> he is your husband now. Be patient. <laughs> I lowered my eyes and said I do. I was hoping that Sean wouldn't at least ruin our wedding night. But at the hotel, he Ooh. first looked after his own comfort. My husband took off his shoes and <laughs> threw his dirty socks at my face. <gasps> hmm? Wash them. I want to wear fresh socks in the morning. I didn't want to start our marriage with a fight. So I silently complied. I thought Sean would be grateful. But I was wrong. <gasps> after doing the laundry, I caught him sleeping in bed. My husband didn't wait for me, ate all the snacks, and even drank the champagne. I was hurt, but I didn't want to wake Sean up. So I spent my wedding night on the couch. And so our married life began. Sean really started being himself. He became terribly sloppy and shameless. But still demanded me to be perfect. I wanted to object to him several times. But my mother taught me that a wife should be patient because that's the only way to have a happy family. <gasps> One day, Sean's friends came over. I made a great dinner. But Sean didn't even invite me to the table. I was just serving them at the party. <laughs> Suddenly, Derek, one of the guests, dropped some of the pizza on the floor. Sorry. It's so clean in here, and I made a mess. Relax. I have a wife for that. Sean pointedly threw his pizza on the floor as well. Hey, Kelly. Clean it up. I bent down to wipe the floor, but Derek stopped me. You are overreacting. She doesn't have to do it. Stay out of it. My wife knows her place. Sean's friend silently helped me clean up. And I hurried back to the kitchen so no one would see my tears. As soon as the guests left, Sean threw a tantrum. He said that I ruined the whole evening and flirted with his friend. Your mother is coming over tomorrow. What will she say to that? I was afraid of disappointing my mother more than anything in my life. So I promised Sean that I would behave. I carefully prepared for dinner with my parents. I put on a new dress, did my hair and makeup, and cooked a delicious dinner. But when my parents arrived, Sean walked in with dirty pajamas <gasps> on and greasy hair. Then he sat down at the table and started picking ingredients from the dish. What the hell did you cook? <laughs> uh, are these olives? I was ashamed of Sean in front of my family. 
and wanted to tell him to have some manners. However, my mother whispered to me, All men are like that. It's okay. During dinner, Shan complained that his hands were dirty and promptly wipes them on my new dress. I thought my father would stand up for me, but... <laughs> Great idea, Sean. No need to wear dresses in the house. After that, my dad also wiped his hands on my mom's dress. She just forced a smile. At that moment, I looked at my parents differently and understood why my mother taught me to keep quiet my whole life. She lived with a man who never respected her. But I didn't want that kind of life. Not long after that, Sean got an important deal at work. He finally took a shower and put on his best suit. My husband <gasps> wanted to oppress the client so badly that he even invited me to tag along his perfect wife. You have to be pretty and silent. Got it? I agreed and said that I would show up a little later to be fully prepared for the evening. <laughs> the meeting with the client went well. And my husband almost got the deal. But then I showed up with tousled hair and awful makeup. Oh, hello, Mr. whatever your name is. I'm Kelly, the wife. <laughs> Sean was furious. His client canceled the deal as he believed that a wife was the reflection of her husband. What have you done? You humiliated me. <laughs> Walk in my shoes, Sean. From the day we got married, you've been abusing my kindness. But it won't happen again. We're getting a divorce. Sean got so mad that he swanted me. But I used all my courage and stopped him. I will never let anyone hurt me again. As soon as my mom found out about the divorce, she immediately tried to talk me out of it. It's better to be with a bad husband than alone. However, I finally found the strength and self-respect to repost. First of all, it's better to be alone, but happy. And second, what makes you think that I will stay alone? I already had a date planned with Derek. And I told my mom that there are men who treat women better than my dad. In order to prove it, I arranged a dinner and invited Derek. He was courteous and attentive throughout the evening. But I don't know if my parents appreciated it. Yet, I didn't care. I was finally happy. I was able to get out of a toxic relationship and realize one simple truth. Self-respect is more important than the fear of being alone. <laughs>